So this video is to recap how our summer went in the garden. Uh, we also wanted to share that Arctic Acres confirmed that our geodesic growing <coughs> dome kit is ready for shipment, so we should be receiving that very soon. Yeah, so uh, to recap what happened in the garden this year, uh, we got our tomatoes in the front and uh, they did pretty good most of the season. Uh, we planted them a little too close together, which I think led to the problems we ended up having later on. Uh, so after we had uh, a, pro a prolonged period of time where we had like lots of rain, uh, we got a little bit of uh, disease on the plants because I think there was too close together, too much moisture for too long. And uh, But anyways, we still got a pretty good harvest despite that. Um, and then also with the tomatoes, we uh, grew them on twine that we suspended from a structure above. Uh, it didn't work great for the tomatoes, I think probably because the tomatoes were too heavy. And then on top of that, again, the tomatoes were uh, a little too close together. Um, and then in and around the, the tomatoes, we planted a few pepper plants. Um, two of them really did very good out of maybe, I think, four we planted there. Mm -hmm. um, we got a few peppers off of them. I think probably the reason they didn't do so good is because uh, being planted tight with all the other stuff and uh, not getting enough sunlight. And then we had our cucumbers. Yeah, we had the, the pickling cucumbers, so we did some pickling and uh, that all did fairly well until the end. We had some powdery mildew, um, so we, we don't have the plant anymore just because it wasn't producing anymore. Uh, and then the cucumelons, we love growing those. Those were lots of fun. They, uh, they yield, there was like a big yield from them, so we ate lots of them. They were really good pickled too. Uh, pickled and in a salad, that was delicious. And uh, we would definitely do that again, just we would do it differently. Uh, we would give it a lot more space to grow uh, upwards and have lots of space to just propagate. <laughs> and uh, then there's the beans. Yeah, the beans we tried doing on twine and we tried growing up our uh, mesh trellis like we did last year. Uh, the mesh trellis worked pretty good again this year. Uh, we did put the trellis a little too close together with another trellis, uh, which made harvesting a little bit difficult. Again, uh, we pretty much tried to cram way too much stuff into the garden, seeing if we could grow a whole bunch of stuff there. And uh, probably would have been better off having less plants that probably would have done better because they would have had enough space to sort of maximize their potential. Yeah. Uh, but then right behind the beans we had our snow peas, or snap peas rather. Uh, they did pretty good. Um, they they kind of all yielded all at once it seemed like, and mm -hmm. we, could, we couldn't stay on top of them when it came to harvesting them. And so that's another thing that we learned this year is um, basically learning to eat around the garden as you harvest. Absolutely. And no. just doing preserves, we like we did the pickles and we did some jelly with the peppers and the tomatoes. So all those preserves are really helpful because you know we're using up what we're harvesting and it'll be good for a later date. So that's a, it's a good uh, thing to learn to do and we're learning and it's a great tool. Yeah, and then uh, speaking of learning, another thing that we were learning uh, was our carrots. Carrots, we uh, realized that we should have been thinning them right at the beginning. Uh, and it was a little bit too late to thin them. So we did harvest some carrots and they were quite small, but uh, we did some thinning not too long ago and hopefully the ones that are in the ground right now had a chance to grow bigger. But uh, we'll see very soon how those turned out. Uh, I think they'll be all right, but uh, definitely something we'll do different next year and uh, we'll be able to have a better yield next year. Uh, and then right in next to that uh, that row of uh, carrots, we had a tomato plant that basically just sprung up there that we didn't plant. So it was a seed that got put in there from last year, probably uh, dropped the tomato or who knows what happened, how it got in there. But anyways, we had that and then uh, in behind the carrots, we got uh, pumpkins planted now where we had our garlic planted. And what we learned with that was uh, we had to leave it in a little bit longer. Um, I think we would have planted it a little bit differently. Um, we didn't really get a huge yield off that. I think, I don't know, it, it wasn't great. No, and like Jordan said, we should have waited longer to grab the garlic. We used everything we harvested. It just, we would have got a lot more if we would have left it in the ground longer. Um, but we'll be doing that different next year and actually 
it'll be this year because now coming into the fall once we prepare our uh, garden for the winter we're going to be putting some garlic in there uh, for next year so that'll be good and yeah so the pumpkins too we have we put them in a little bit late uh, so not sure if we'll get full-size pumpkins before the end of the season but uh, we'll have to see how that goes yeah and then uh that's kind of basically all all of our annuals in that section of the garden and then in behind that we have uh, a sort of perennial slash annual uh, garden uh, in the front row of that we got all our asparagus grown in there which is grown really big and bushy uh, we're, we're hoping that we're gonna have like uh, a lot of uh, asparagus we mm -hmm. can eat next year and then um, in amongst our asparagus we planted a, a pepper plant which we originally had thought was a bell pepper plant and uh, it turned out to be a banana pepper plant and that was by far our, our uh, pepper plant that did the best. Uh, we've we've picked at least six peppers off there now. Six and, or seven. Yeah, six or seven. We'll probably get another three maybe. Yeah. We'll see. It depends on how the weather kind of ends out in this fall. But that did really good. Uh, in behind that we've got our chives. Our, our chives were really good. We enjoyed them uh, fairly often but in, in, in the earlier summer. Uh, and then never really kept up with them. Uh, we had lots of them and we would have been eating chives all the time with yeah. as many chives as we had. We underutilized it but yeah. there's just so much more in the garden and we'll have to see how we can plan our meals to kind of incorporate everything in there. Yeah and if it means too that we uh, don't need as much chives as we have planted it might be space better utilized by another plant. True. <laughs> Yeah. Then we have our broccoli right behind that and we planted that a little bit early because once we got that like real summer heat they bolted so that means all the flowers came out so we couldn't really uh, use it as your traditional broccoli but uh, you could eat the flowers so we did do some of that um, and the bees love the flowers so it was really good just to have it as a pollinator plant. Um, and so we would do the broccoli very different next time, but uh, it turned out all right. We've had some broccoli from there, and that's been good. Yeah, and then in behind the broccoli is where we had our uh, onions. We planted those uh, one row uh, earlier than the, the next row. Uh, they were about a week apart. Yeah. And um, we got a few onions out of it, and we enjoyed a few onions out of it, but uh, I think part of the problem we had was again planting too many too tight. Uh, on top of that too, um, I don't think we set them quite deep enough in the beginning either and I think that hindered their growth possibly. Um, and then in, in behind now where those were, uh, we have some uh, uh, cabbage that we got planted that we got from a friend. Um, it's doing great. We've got some of that planted in where we had our peas originally planted too. Um, that's doing really good. It's kind of planted in amongst the broccoli too. And we also got some uh, pumpkin plants in there too. Um, it's doing good. We're hoping we can maybe uh, take a cutting from that and propagate it into our dome to grow it over the winter because it's supposed to be a cold hardy vegetable. So we'll try that. And uh, so that way we'll kind of hopefully be able to utilize that plant yeah. more. Yeah, at this point we're basically finishing up all our harvesting. Um, soon we'll be preparing the garden for the winter, putting in some garlic like I mentioned and we have some rhubarb too that we're going to put in there. Um, and basically now we're just planning for the dome, getting that very soon and figuring out what we're going to plant in there. It's going to be all hardy crops because it'll be the winter time but uh, we're excited to see how that goes. Yeah, so that'll be another learning experience. For so sure. <laughs> come next summer we'll probably be uh, a lot better at growing stuff because we'll have been growing stuff all winter long so yeah the more we grow the better we'll get at it and then we'll get better at uh, preserving it and making better use of what we got yeah thanks for watching